Welcome back to Advocata's Explainer series. My name is Nakia Shiraz, and in today's video, we will be talking about public finance. What does this mean exactly? This is the management of a country's revenue and expenditure, including its debt obligations, which can be both governmental and or from international financial agencies like the IMF or World Bank. You can think of managing a country's fin public finances much like the way that you would manage a company's. A country's financial position and performance can be evaluated much like the way you would evaluate the financial statements of a company. Let's break down the main components that go into managing public finance. Revenue. Revenue is an income that a country can spend. A country gets its revenue mainly through tax collection, including tariffs that are taxes on imports, and of course, any other revenue through public services that are not free. Then there is government expenditure, the money that the government spends. A country's budget takes into consideration these inflows of revenues and outflows of expenditure. It is the proposed plan of expenditure in a given fiscal year. In Sri Lanka, budget discussions are completed around in the third week of December. To understand this a little bit better, let's take a look at Sri Lanka's finances in 2019, as published by the Central Bank. Total revenue in 2019 was approximately 1.9 trillion rupees. Out of this, around 1.7 trillion rupees came from taxes, both indirect and direct. So the majority of our revenue came from taxes. The other side of the same coin is expenditure. For the same year, total government expenditure was approximately 2.9 trillion rupees. Where did this get spent? Mainly on two broad areas, recurrent expenditure and capital expenditure. Namely, recurrent expenditure is, consists of salaries, wages and interest payments. Capital expenditure consists of things like acquisitions of real assets or capital transfers. In Sri Lanka, the majority of expenditure is on recurrent expenditure items. So we know how much we collect in terms of revenue and how much we spend in terms of expenditure. Then what? In our example of 2019, revenue is less than expenditure, so we had a budget deficit. However, this trend of revenues being less than expenditure is not a one-off situation. Sri Lanka has had primary deficits consecutively throughout the years. This occurs when expenditure, excluding interest payments, is greater than revenue. In order to fund this gap in revenue, the government needs to borrow. Then, when you take into consideration interest payments of the loans taken and other principal payments, the overall budget deficit is even larger. Let's summarize what we know so far. We have had a historical trend of spending more than the revenues we earn. What's more is that this gap between revenue and expenditure has also been increasing on average. So we have to borrow more in order to finance this. What does this all mean? In the long term, not only do we have to borrow to finance our primary deficits, but we have to borrow to pay the loans and the interest on these loans. This is a compounding process and can affect how a country's public finances are managed, as well as how a country sustains its debt levels. For more information on debt, types of debt instruments, and what this all means in the long-term management of a country's finances, please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and on LinkedIn. For more content in Sinhala, please follow the Advocata Plus page on Facebook. Stay tuned for more videos.